Habib has put yet another spectacular victory under his belt. But as always, people are not only talking about the amazing fight, but also what happened afterwards as well. To Jen, yeah. <laughs> Here are the top eight moments that Habib won the hearts of the people. Number one, suggesting the next fight to be in Africa purely for charity reasons and taking a subtle jibe at racism. I really want to fight in Africa too. They can build like this arena somewhere like Congo, Nigeria or like Somali, Sudan, whatever, you know, fight there, make money and uh, do some charity stuff. Number two, his advice to his young fans about parents at a time when Let's face it, they don't get that much respect. What's your message for your young fans out there who look up to you so much? <laughs> young fans, uh, respect your parents, be your parents very close, this is very important. Parents everything, you know, your mother, your father, and that's it. And everything in your life is gonna be good. Number three, preaching against materialism in an age and an industry where it's being promoted heavily. If you have money in your hand, this is very good. But if money go in your mind, this is very bad. Number four, swapping shirts for charity, which then encouraged the president of the UFC to match his donation. I just changed with him t-shirt because I feel uh, we can use this platform, Octagon, and uh, I feel I can sell this t-shirt um, and make more than money if he sell because I have more followers than him. No, 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 I'm thinking about it. I'll match whatever Habib does. Number five, not forgetting to encourage the younger fighters out there. A lot of people coming. Thank you, thank you, brother. Number six, thanking and appreciating the elders and the people that helped you at a time when all eyes are on you and your ego is the most inflated. I want to say thank you for my father. Come here, coach. I have my coach here, Javier Mendes. I have my brothers, everybody. Like we born together, you know, like grew up. Like everything what I have, like I have because of my team, my father, my sparring partners, brothers, Islam, Zuba, everybody here is like Abu Bakr, Uma. Everybody, if I forget somebody, sorry guys, my uncles. I'm sure he remembered the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said, he who does not thank the people has not thanked Allah. Number seven, completely and utterly outclassing your opponent. He went back to the corner and said, I can't get to keep this guy off me. And uh, then he came up to me after and said, I wasn't prepared for this, this type of pressure that this guy puts on you. Number eight, when his opponent was in tears, Rather than rubbing it in, he showed class and humility. I was just so prepared, you know, for tonight. This one really hurts. Uh... Imagine the mockery of Connor and his fans if Habib was in tears. So those were my top eight moments. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought and is there a moment that I've missed? And if you guys want to be like Habib, be like the one who Habib respects, which is Allah and his Prophet, peace be upon him. Until next time, guys. Congratulations on your second successful title defense. How do you feel, sir? Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum.